Once again, this is a continuation of another video. Which in itself is a continuation of another video. Check those out first or you will be confused. Blah blah blah. Okay here we go. Before we begin, a few things to state. So, I've seen other theories about you will be okay coming out. One such theory, by Charles J. Thomas, I'll link to him in the description, is nearly one to one with mine. The main difference we have is our opinion of Stola's being in an arranged marriage. He believes it's possible, but also believes Stola's married Stella of his own volition without really thinking it over. I have to admit, I see this as possible. I admit my theory is based off of a lot of unconfirmed connections to biblical and occult texts. Though, I must state, they are not baseless. There are clear connections visible not just in the deep lore, but in the show itself. Like how Lucifer has an apple on his staff, and how Stola's, well, exists, and also has the symbol of the Ars Goetia on literally everything in his palace. Anyway, on to what this video is really about, our lovable bird daddy. Except, of course, to get into the subject, I must introduce another source of information. I know, I know, you just want to get to the video. But I just can't do that. So sit down and be patient damn it. Some of you may know of a magical, enchanted, website known as Instagram. Though the enchantment placed upon it was done by a meth-addicted homeless wizard in the ruins of Atlantic City. Squad alive, we are off! Hey, shut up with the noise! Hey, shut up with the shut up! You shut up with the shut up! Shut up your face! Now am I a dog or wanna shut up? Why you know I shut up? I make you shut you up! You shut up! Hey, I poke out of my head! But within this site filled with thoughts, there are a few that stand out. If you watched another, really short video of mine, you'll know that the characters of Hasbun Hotel and Hell of a Boss have canonical Instagram accounts. These accounts show us the unshown daily lives and misadventures of the characters. Like how Blitz single-handedly gave everyone in both shows an unhealthy addiction to iced coffee. Even Moxie has become a freaking Karen. Speaking of Blitz, besides having a crap load of pictures of him that would make Stolas. And often they do. Oh no, he's hot! He also has posts that show he really cares about Luna. Like a daughter. Which technically she is. And is even confirmed to be. I mean, if your dog talked, stood on two legs, turned goth, and had a rebellious phase, would you consider that a pet? Well, probably a lot of hellhound owners do. But not Blitz. He even went to her favorite store with her. Stylish occult. Yes. That, stylish occult. And guess who showed up later? That's right Luna and Octavia fan, they've technically met. And Octavia got her weird taxidermy. Oh my god look at that thing. Honestly if I saw that damn thing in my living room, I'd stomp on it until it was a small brown stain. But what I really want to focus on is Stola's relationship with Blitz. Of course, fans of the show know of his lewd behavior towards Blitz. But what many don't know is that Stola's treats Blitz like a genuine friend, and a friend with benefits second. There was this whole arc where Blitz had an imaginary horse. Oh yeah, by the way, Blitz is obsessed with horses. And was kidnapped, but then saved by his horse, who it turns out wasn't imaginary. And her name was Spindle. I kid you not. The whole time, Stolas was in a panic. He bombarded Blitz's Instagram trying to find out where he was. He even made missing person flyers. I mean really. Would you honestly go through that much trouble for this guy, unless you really really cared for him? I mean, I might. He's my whole mood when it comes to his taste in music. There was also one time where Blitz fell off a playground rocking horse and broke his leg. Everyone at IMP signed his cast. But guess who also showed up? And it would seem Blitz himself doesn't actually despise Stolas with every fiber of his being. One time, Stolas got sick. With what? Um well. I don't know. Bird flu I guess. <laughs>
and Blitz actually sent Stoll as a care package. Specially filled with all Stoll as his weird bird necessities, and then fucking threw it through his window. <laughs> he a little confused, but he got the spirit. There was also a time Stolas and Blitz had a movie night. I can't recall what the movie was, but Blitz cried. So I guess it had something to do with horses. There was another time Stolas asked Blitz to preen him. What I'm trying to get at is that Stolas, after having Octavia, understood what it was to truly love someone. And Blitz, at some point, caught his eye. Maybe after meeting him for an assassination contract. His feelings for Blitz, however, are complicated. He's got his parental love down to a T. But for his sense of romance, well, I don't think he knows how to express them. He's had to fake being in love with Stella for so long that perhaps he feels the way he conveys such farces is not true love. His deal with Blitz, to get the book once a month after some passionate. Um. Bird and imp stuff at first seemed rather freaking creepy. And maybe it still is. Okay yes, it still is. But it's less creepy than originally thought. Unfortunately, Stella wouldn't see it that way. After their first get together for the book, Stella found out. Probably because Stola's posted it on Instagram. Bruh. Oh by the way, Octavia follows her dad on Instagram. So. Awkward. I would highly suggest checking out the Hasbun Hotel and Hell of a Boss characters Instagram accounts. They're bound to reveal more as time passes. I'll link them in the description, unless I forget. I'll probably forget. And then I'll be all angry and say, 